Hey guys, it's Dr. Todd with EBM Fitness Solutions, and in this video, we are going to discuss thoracic mobility. So, the thoracic spine is this chunk in between kind of the neck and the low back, and it's kind of a big deal for a few different reasons. First thing about it is it curves forward naturally, right? So, it kind of it's prone to moving into this position. Now, that position is often viewed as sort of an abnormal or a poor posture, which I know for some people is this um, weird kind of a thing. We talk about abnormal, normal, optimal, best, all these things. Here's the deal. Your posture can get out of whack. It doesn't happen quick. It happens over time. Posture is a learned behavior. It is learned over time. So over the course of usually months and years, things slowly move this way. It's not a dramatic, sudden thing. Your posture does not get bad over the weekend nor can you fix it over the weekend. It happens slowly over time. Now here's kind of what can happen. As this thoracic spine slowly moves forward, it impacts a lot of other things. Your ribs come off the thoracic spine, so it impacts rib position. Your shoulder blade sits on top of the ribs. It impacts the shoulder blade position. At the end of the shoulder blade is the socket where the arm meets up for that, with that uh, shoulder joint. It impacts the relationship there and all that starts here. So if you address the things on the periphery, but you never come back and address the spine, you will never truly resolve the issue. So you start at the spine and then you work your way out towards the extremities. You have to improve thoracic mobility. It also causes problems with the muscles in that area, muscles on top of the shoulders, and muscles that go up and act on the neck and even kind of attach to the head. And it can be a source of headaches. Typically, they tend to be more one-sided. So if you have a headache that seems to be more on one side than the other, check the muscles on this side. But issues with the thoracic spine kind of feed out to different areas and they cause a lot, or it can cause a lot of different problems from muscle tightness, muscle spasms, decreased neck range of motion, decreased shoulder range of motion, shoulder pain. You can even get numbness that works into the shoulder, down into the arm, into the fingers. Um, it's a problem and a lot of that stuff starts here address this and work out to the periphery and address the other issues. But if you don't start here and fix this, you're never going to truly resolve the issue. So this mobilization I'm going to show you is a great way to work on some of that. Um, it's something you can do throughout the day. It's a brief movement. Um, hold it, you know, five, no more than 10 seconds, but repeat it throughout the day as many times as you can. Use a stable surface, okay? Don't do this on something that can shift or move. You know, uh, kitchen counters work great. Back of the couch works great if you have access to it. Um, if you're at a job site, uh, the bed of the pickup truck works fine. Um, anything like that. Find something that is solid you can lean on and then perform the, uh, the mobilization. Really work towards uh, pushing the chest towards the floor as you get to kind of the stretched position. All right, so check this video out and let me know what you think. Set your hands on a stable surface and walk your feet back. From this position, push your hips back while keeping your arms straight to get into the stretched position. From here, gently push your chest towards the floor. You should feel pressure and possibly a little crack or pop in the spine in the upper back area. Hold this position for 5 to 10 seconds and repeat as many times during the day as needed.